Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic conversion of regular expression to DFA using direct method under compiler design. The conversion of regular expression to DFA using direct method follows the procedure given here. So the first step is we have to generate the augmented regular expression for the given expression. Second step is to construct the syntax tree for the constructed augmented regular expression. Third step is to traverse the tree to construct the functions nullable, first position, last position and follow position. And finally, we can construct the DFA. Now, let us see about these four functions. Nullable of n indicates the empty string or epsilon at the node n. First position of n indicates the positions that match the first symbol of a string at the node n. Last position of n indicates the positions that match the last symbol of a string at the node n. And follow position of i indicates the set of positions that can follow the position i in the syntax tree constructed. Now let us understand about the functions nullable first position and last position for the node n. Here node n is nothing but the basic operators of regular expressions. So which is nothing but R operator, concatenation operator and clean closure operator. Now considering the nullable of R operator, it will be nullable of C1 or nullable of C2. That is this R will be null if either of C1 is null or C2 is null. For concatenation operator, it will be nullable of C1 and nullable of C2. So concatenation operator will be null if both C1 as well as C2 is null. And for closure operator, the nullable is always applicable. So it is mentioned as true here because closure means zero or more occurrences. So there is a possibility for zero or epsilon in the closure operators. So nullable is true for closure operator. Now let us see about the first position. So first position of this R operator will be first position of C1 union first position of C2. That is we can have either C1 in the first position or C2 in the first position. Now considering the concatenation operator by default the position uh, the first position of concatenation operator will be the first position of the left hand side that is first position of C1 as mentioned here. But if the left hand side C1 is null that is if nullable of C1 then we have to union the first position of C1 and first position of C2. For closure operator whatever applicable for C1 is carried out for closure also. So first position of closure operator will be first position of C1. Now coming to the last position of the R operator, it is the union of C1 and C2. So either C2 can come last or C1 can come last. For concatenation operator, by default, the last position of concatenation operator will be the right hand side that is C2. So last position of concatenation operator will be last position of C2. But if C2 is null, if nullable of C2, then we have to perform the union of last position of C1 and last position of C2. So for closure, uh, closure operator, it will be last position of C1. Now, let us understand this concept using this example. So we have the expression A or B closure followed by ABB. So first step is we have to create the augmented regular expression. So augmented regular expression can be created by attaching the hash symbol for the given expression and we are including the dot operator here which is mentioning that it is a concatenation. Next we have to construct the syntax tree for this augmented regular expression. So let us consider the expression A or B closure. So we can draw the syntax tree for this like this. So A or B followed by closure operator. And after that, we have concatenation operator, which is followed by A. So concatenate this expression with A. And next, we have to concatenate this with B. And again, we have one more B. So concatenate this expression with B. And finally, we have to concatenate with hash. Now, we have constructed the syntax tree. Next, let us number the leaf nodes starting from 1 to 6. So node A is numbered as 1, B is 2 and here a is 3 and this b 4 and this b it is 5 and finally hash it is 6. 
Next, we know that nullable is always applicable for the closure operator. So, it is indicated here. Now, let us find the first position and last position for the leaf nodes first. So, the first position and last position for the leaf nodes will be the same as the node numbers given here. So, first position and last position of A will be 1. For B, it will be 2. And for this A, it will be 3. And for this B, it will be 4. And for this B, it will be 5. And finally, for a hash it will be 6. So the left hand side is considered as first position and the right hand side is considered as the last position. So we have uh, framed the first position and last position for the leaf nodes. Now let us consider the non-leaf nodes. So here we have R operator. So according to the rule we have seen in the previous slide it will be the first position of this R operator will be union of left hand side and right hand side. So First position of uh, left hand side is 1 and first position of right hand side is 2. So first position of R will be 1 comma 2 that is union of A and B. So considering the last position also it is also the union of A and B. So last position of A is 1, last position of B is 2 so it will be 1 comma 2. Next closure operator means whatever applicable here is same for closure. So First position of closure will be first position of R. So what is first position of R? It will be 1 comma 2. And last position of R is 1 comma 2 again. Now considering the concatenation operator, the first position of the concatenation operator by default will be the left hand side's first position. So what is the left hand side here? Closure. Its first position is 1 comma 2. But closure can be nullable because nullable is always true for closure. So if the left hand side is null, then we have to perform the union of first position of left hand side and first position of right hand side. So first position of left hand side is 1 comma 2 and uh, first position of right hand side is 3. So it will be 1 comma 2 comma 3. And last position will be by default the last position of the right hand side here. So here A is not null. So this 3 is taken as it is. And for this concatenation operator, the first position will be the first position of the left hand side which is 1, 2, 3. So here we don't have nullable so it will be 1, 2, 3 here also. For last position here we have to consider the last position of the RHS which is 4. And for this last position, first position will be the uh, first position of the uh, left hand side which is 1, 2, 3. And last position will be last position of the right hand side which is 5. And for this also again we consider the first position of the left hand side 1 2 3 and last position of the right hand side it is 6. So thus we have constructed the first position and last position for all the nodes. Next let us see about the follow position. So consider the expression again. So here we can number this nodes according to the node numbers in the tree. So we are numbering it from 1 to 6. Now considering the uh, table here we have node name followed by node number and follow position. So we have to find the follow position. So we have the node numbers uh, here 1 to 6 and the equivalent node name is A, B, A, B, B and hash. So this is nothing but the expression. So now let us find the follow position for each node. So for node 1 that is A, uh, let us see in this expression. So it is A or B closure. So closure means it can have either A, A can follow A itself or A can follow B or if B is null then it can follow the third node A. So the node 1 can either follow 1 itself or it can have 2 that is B or in case B is null then it can follow this node 3. So follow position of A or node 1 is 1, 2, 3. So because of closure operator we are writing like this. Next if we consider the node B and the node number 2. So for B if we consider B either it can follow A or it can follow B itself or in the case if A is null or B is null then it can follow the node 3. So here it will be again 1, 2, 3. Next if we consider this third node A. So here third node A is uh, following the concatenation operator. So after this definitely the node B only will come. So the node number of B is 4. So follow position of A will be 4. That is the third node's follow position is 4. 
next if we consider the fourth node b so after b we have concatenation operator only so definitely the node 5 only will come so follow position of node 4 will be node 5 and for node 5 that is b the follow position will be hash because we have concatenation operator here so definitely after node 5 you will be having only node 6 and after node 6 we don't have anything so we write hyphen so thus we have found the follow position for the given expression now finally we have to construct the dfa so let us start with this uh, state first state that is 1 2 3 as the starting state now 1 2 3 we have two inputs that is a and b in this given expression so we have to consider the 1 2 3 node numbers and the input a so 1 2 3 on a where does it goes so 1 2 3 on a so here we have a and here we have a so we have to union these two states so we'll be having 1 2 3 and 4 so 1 2 3 on the input a it goes to the state 1 2 3 4 next we have to consider the input b for 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 on b it is going to the that is the follow position is 1 2 3 so it will be going to itself so 1 2 3 on b it goes to itself next we have to consider this new state on the input a and b so 1 2 3 4 on a so consider this 1 2 3 4 on a so we have a here and a here so what is the union of these two 1 2 3 4 so it will be going to itself on the input a so as mentioned here and next we have to see for b for the input b so 1 2 3 4 on b so here we have b and here we have b so if we union we will be getting 1 2 3 and 5 so on the input b it goes to 1 2 3 5 now 1 2 3 5 is the new state so we have to consider it for the input a and b so 1 2 3 5 on the input a so 1 2 3 and 5 on the input a so here we have a and here we have a so the union will be 1 2 3 4 so on input a it goes to 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 5 on a goes to 1 2 3 4 next we have to consider 1 2 3 5 on b so 1 2 3 and 5 on b so here we have b and here we have b so in this case it is 1 2 3 and here it is 6 so if union it will be 1 2 3 6 so 1 2 3 5 on b it is 1 2 3 6 so this is the new state so we have to consider for input a and b so 1 2 3 6 1 2 3 6 on a so here we have a and here we have a in this case if union it will be 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 6 on a it goes to 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 6 on b so 1 2 3 and 6 so on b means here we have only 1b so that is 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 6 on b it will be going to 1 2 3 now this state is considered as final state and hence it is mentioned with a double circle why this is considered as final state means the hash will be indicating the end of the expression so what is the node number of hash it is 6 so whichever state containing the number 6 is considered as the final state so thus we have seen about the conversion of regular expression to DFA using direct method. Thank you.